job as a safety engineer at Transurban, what I look at is the number of accidents and the severity of these accidents. So we track all this information. I'd look at accident rates, I'd look at black spots, I'd try to determine if the accident rate was higher than it should be for a particular section, and I'd use mathematics to determine that. Sometimes it's obvious that you've got a problem, but most of the time you have to do a bit of mathematical analysis to determine where these areas of improvement are. When I finished high school, I started a degree in mathematics. I moved on from that to do a degree in engineering. When I first got out of university, I used the engineering, but I found as my career has developed, the mathematics has been very valuable. There's not many people that can really apply these mathematical models. I studied mathematics at school, I liked doing it, but I didn't really see the application. So it was only when I started to study mathematics at university that I'd understand all the applications of this mathematics. The trouble is that they have to teach you this kind of basic mathematics at high school. It's kind of like learning how to read, but you have to understand a language before you can start applying it. And at university level, you learn some of the techniques that I use in my current job. Well, this is a graph of the accident rate on a section of CityLink Road. It shows the accidents per quarter over a period of time. Well, this is the expected accident rate. Underneath that line, it's clearly safer than we would expect. So when you look at an accident in a road, you can either think, oh, well, that's a random event, or you can think that, oh, that was due to this road section, it was due to the geometry of the road, it was due to the line markings, and that's the kind of thing you do with mathematical analysis. I look at all types of accidents in my role. Nose to tails and general accidents, they're a leading indicator of when you're going to have a problem. That's when the statistics comes into it, looking at trends of smaller accidents before something more severe happens. There's many measures you can use to, to improve road safety. There's line marking and interchange design, when you come onto a freeway, what kind of angles you come into, what speed we set. They're all things that are within our control. If you increase the traffic, you increase the opportunity for an accident. So if we're going to keep our road safety at the same level, we've got to be doing more and more. The money's very good and it's, it's interesting work. Being involved in engineering, you get involved with big projects. There's always a new challenge. With road safety, it's a developing field. We haven't got many large tunnels. So it's, it's interesting getting into a field that's only just, just starting up in Australia. If I was giving advice to people that were coming up to year 12, I'd suggest that they do continue with their studies of mathematics and progress it at a higher tertiary level. It does open up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities to you in Australia and overseas.